Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ponzi was wondering how to embed video files in her blog, which of course is at ponzarelli.com. And so I thought we'd show her, and I'd show her, and everybody could benefit. So go over to YouTube. It's ponzarelli.com. Ponzarelli.com, just like this. Oh no, I mean in my. In your Ustream. My Ustream account? Oh, you don't need to touch your Ustream account. Oh, I'm just cool. going to show you how to embed like a YouTube video. So. Well, I'm saying you're going to Ustream to get. No, I'm going to YouTube to get the video. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant YouTube. Right. So let's say you want to embed a video. So we've got like all these videos here. Now the, I'm just going to show people how to do it. I, I guess on specifically on on YouTube. Uh, it's it's. Because everybody's platform is going to be different. Like when they when they use um, one particular tool for blogging, we, we use WordPress. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to show you the code that you want to copy to paste into your blogging platform, whatever it happens to be. And nine times out of ten, this will work just fine. So from YouTube, um, you can do you can do a variety of things. You could even set it up to uh, you can connect your account automatically to uh, all these other your blogging services and you can actually post directly from YouTube to your blog if you set it up from your account okay. see there's a there's a thing that, nice. yeah it says post video this is a, this is in your account settings um, you can edit your blog settings in your in your basic account my account video posting settings mm -hmm. add a blog slash site you know you choose your blog service like okay. There's Blogger, Live Journal, yeah, Friendster. Ours is WordPress.com or self-hosted? Ours is WordPress self-hosted. Now, I can tell you this. I've tried to do this, and I don't know how well it's worked in the past. So, um, you know, from, directly from YouTube, but I'm going to show people how I embed it. Because, it, I mean, there's code related to it, but it is, it is pretty simple to embed, so to speak. So you can set it up in here to, to when you see something you like, click, and then it'll blog directly to it if you set up your account through there. But we're not going to go to set it up. But that's how you do it. You press post video, edit settings, and you can enter your account information there. And then anything you choose, you can immediately blog to your blog, which is the way we'll, we'll set it up. But for now, over to right here, you, you'll see this little uh, line that says embed and this object with whatever. Just click your uh, cursor in there, copy it. And however you want to do it, like Control C or right click the high. Make sure it's all highlighted. Right click, and then select Copy. And if you're using a Mac, you know you can do that. You, you copy and you know from a Mac just as easily. Um, then let's say we're going to our blog here. We're gonna write a new post in uh, in your blog. Now you've got the thing about uh, about your the way you have your blog set up. Is you've got the rich HTML editor set up so everything's visual when you're entering your information. You you really can't do that when you're copying and pasting code in, otherwise it's not going to work. That's a very clear distinction. A lot of people can't get it to work because they have the rich text editor um, set up like this. So how do you change that? Um, usually in, in WordPress, there's a way that you can toggle it. You can say view source code or edit by source code. Toggle it where? Uh, well. I don't have your button because your button is different than mine. Mm. So, in in but there's a way in in one of these buttons it says basically view source code in your buttons in your bar. Okay. But basically, what I'm saying is you can't copy and paste the code directly into a rich text editor because it's just going to paste the text in. Because it's a rich text editor essentially makes it easier to format things so you can highlight something, press bold, and it'll do it. It's net it's not good to do it that way when you're trying to embed something into a blog post. So I'm just going to say uh, test YouTube post. I've pasted the content in here. And now I should be able to, I can change a category. Everybody's software is different. But essentially the key is, is copying that, that embed code. You have to have that full embed code. So I'm just going to keep it, uh, well, let's just say family. Or just change fashion. <laughs> you can change it all. Publish. And every blog software is going to be different and then the post has been saved. So now, in theory, when I go to view the site, that embed code will have populated in this post, so it'll pull in that video. So now you've got a YouTube post right there on your blog. So that's, that's really all it takes is just copying this embed. That's what embed means. It means to embed this video somewhere else.
Right, but it's going to look totally different than Okay, so what we'll do is we'll set up your account. Okay, I'll show you. So we'll set up post video. So right now it says VoIP services. So I'm going to try choosing a blog. Uh, let's post it here. I've got a Friendster account. I'll, I'll post it to my. I've got a, a a Blogspot account that I set up. So let me press this, and then we'll go to that pretend, pretend blog. After you set up your account in here by pressing the 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 uh, the video will appear on your blog shortly. So press the post video button. If you don't have an account set up, edit your blog settings. You can set it up, and that's relatively easily easy so to do. So if I do it in here, then I don't have to change the way my. No, you don't. You then if you see that I just did it one way that most people can do it, or you can do it this way. Okay. This way will be easier once you get your account set up. But since you right. didn't have your account set up, you know okay. I, I'm just going to use mine. So now in theory, ah, look at that VoIP services. That's what I just published from YouTube. Okay, cool. It went right to my account. So that's the easiest way. To, that's the easiest way to embed the YouTube videos to connect it to your account. But if your account, if you don't have a WordPress blog or a LiveJournal blog, then you have to kind of do it the way I kind of explained, where you just copy and paste the code. Okay, cool. We'll it is it is pretty some, simple. Some videos uh, this week. It it is pretty simple. Long gone. Cool. And you need to take me to the airport now, please. Okay.